What can you see with a £2,000 used telescope setup? Well, as it turns out, quite a lot. Now, I love a bargain, and there is plenty of value to be found in used telescope rigs. Why? Two reasons. Number one, previous owners just want to offload their old gear once and for all. They can't be bothered with making 10 different listings for all of the accessories that come with their setup. And number two, like with most things, used items are significantly cheaper than the brand new versions, and this is especially true when it comes to telescopes. Which is surprising, considering there's very little difference between new and used. It's not like buying a used car with 100,000 miles on it. In fact, most of the used telescopes I've purchased have been in near pristine condition, and today's one is no exception. Wow. This is the Celestron C8 Edge HD Advanced Go-To Setup. Currently priced at £2,754 brand new or $3,728. It costs an eye-watering figure which even with our luxury budget we still can't afford. Which is a shame because the Edge HD line of Celestron telescopes are perfect for both imaging the planets and deep sky objects. Thanks to the Edge HD optical design, it fully corrects for coma and field curvature, delivering a truly flat field. But to really take advantage of this telescope, we need to buy the focal reducer, which is expensive to say the least. And we also haven't accounted for yet the fact that we still need a camera within our £2,000 budget. This is no easy feat. But after searching for this telescope via Google, I was greeted with an eBay listing for a used version of this setup, only £1,100 cheaper. With very little hesitation, I purchased this listing, already planning what camera I was going to buy with the remaining £350. But upon further inspection, it turns out this listing also included a plethora of astronomy accessories, some of them useful and a lot of them expendable. In a description of the item page, the seller has even included the recommended retail price of each item, which as a rule of thumb generally means we can get about 60% of that value back when selling our telescope gear. So we're already aware of items 1 and 2, but unless you were very keen-eyed when it came to the thumbnail, you'll be surprised by item 3. The auto align is a very useful tool for beginners, but I suspect that it will be one of the first items that I sell. Then we have a Celestron power bank. I didn't know this was a thing, but that's pretty cool and should fetch us about £100 if sold. In fact, the list goes on for so long that it's almost starting to seem like we've hit the jackpot. Sure, it's going to take a bit of work, but upon first inspection, I might even be able to afford a £350 camera and a desperately desired 0.7 times reducer attachment. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's check out and inspect this Tesco bundle and see if it really is too good to be true.
And naturally, after purchasing a telescope, you are given a complimentary one-week unlimited clouds pass, which is automatically redeemed without your consent. Fun. So in the meantime, I decided to try and sell all of the unwanted accessories, which actually provided me with a lot of money. I sold pretty much everything, so that all that remained was the telescope and the tracking mount. I decided to test it out with the ASI 585 color camera. If you're wondering what that weird paper is on the back of the camera, it's because I'd made some commemorative stickers to go on my Astro gear that had been funded by my Patreon supporters. Everyone's username who has donated features on it at least once with the larger donators having the largest names. So now seems as good of a time as any. If you're interested in supporting the channel for as little as £1 a month, then consider joining as a Patreon using the link below for more videos like this. Right, this now puts us in an interesting position. After all that wheeling and dealing, I now have have a Celestron 8 inch Edge HD telescope in excellent condition and a more than capable go to tracking mount with a remaining budget of £1,230, which is pretty good. Now I've got enough money to be really flexible and purchase my ultimate rig. So here we go. First off, I decided to get that 07 times reducer that I've always wanted, but rather than get it from a UK supplier, I purchased it for half the price from AliExpress. Yes, it took two weeks to get here, and yes, I got hit with a hefty import tax, but it still came in at well under the cost of buying it from a UK retailer, which is really weird. Next up was arguably the most important element of the setup the camera. Now I had my eye on the ZWO ASI 533 color camera. It's a square crop sensor version of the immensely powerful ASI 2600 color camera, which I really enjoy. But the cheapest used copy of the camera I could find was £750, with a new version costing £849, which as always is very annoying considering on their official page, ZWO has the ASI 533 MC listed at $799, which even when you factor in for import taxes comes up to about £725. Pounds. However, I did find an even better deal, and it's not even used. I purchased a TubeTech 533 color camera for $799, free shipping and taxes included. Bingo. And then once you factor in a 5% first purchase discount and then convert to British pounds, you get £560. Now, in case you're wondering, why the 533 sensor? Well, because it's an amazing deep sky imaging sensor, but also more than capable when it comes to planetary imaging. So in total, we have a setup that can really do it all. And it only cost me, hang on, let me just check my notes here, 1,600 pounds. All right, enough maths and yapping. It's time to start snapping. It's captured some really nice images of some galaxies and star clusters, but with the remaining £400 budget at my disposal, I decided to enhance my imaging capabilities to their max and purchase the ultimate light pollution filter. This may very well be overkill, but I purchased a used 1.25 inch Optolong L Ultimate filter for £180 and the SV Bonnie filter drawer for about £18. The goal of this filter is to pick up a lot of the fainter nebulosity in certain deep sky objects by filtering out the other necessary wavelengths of light that just pollute the shot. Which means that when using this filter, our images are going to be a lot fainter. As a result, I needed to add a guide scope and camera to increase the lengths of my exposures because using intense filters like this really limits the amount of total light coming through. So longer exposures are a must. This brings us to a total spend of 1,986 British pounds. And these are the best deep sky images that I have been able to capture with this setup. You can really tell in this shot of the Ring Nebula that you're getting your money's worth with the filter. There's almost a second layer of surrounding nebulosity that standard setups can't really pick up. Of course, you always have the option to also create mosaic shots of larger objects like the Bale Nebula. 
and then combine them later on. Overall, as far as it goes in terms of imaging deep sky objects, I think this setup does a terrific job at a budget of 2,000 British pounds. But what about when it comes to the planets? Well, obviously, you're not going to be surprised here. The Celestron C8 Edge HD telescope knocks it out of the park. Here's a time lapse that I made over a couple of hours from imaging the largest planet in our solar system with this scope and a 533 sensor. I didn't even bother to use a Barlow lens for this shot, which is crazy. This will go down as one of my favorite ever shots of Jupiter, simply because of the fact that not only does it have Jupiter's great red spot showing, but all four of the Galilean moons at the same time. I like it. In reality, at this playback, the time lapse only lasts about three seconds, and yet I've watched it loop for probably an hour in total. I'm absolutely mesmerized by it. So there we go. That's what you can see with a £2,000 used telescope setup. I suppose it is worth noting that the camera was actually new, but otherwise everything else was purchased second hand. I did a video recently showcasing what you can see with a brand new £2,000 telescope setup, and while the images achievable are spectacular, I think they are nothing compared to this. In the weeks that have followed since finishing this video, I've made plans of doing another video this style, but next time with a £3,000 budget. So as a result, I've started selling off most of the gear from this episode, and I've already managed to recoup a decent amount. I sold the C8 Edge telescope for £1,265, I managed to sell the 0.7 times reducer for £280, the Celestron Advanced AVX mount went for £550, and the TubeTech 533 colour camera went for £529. Meaning after all of this, I'm left with an L Ultimate filter, an SV Bonnie filter draw, a 50mm guide scope, an ASI 120 monochrome guide camera, and £624 profit. Which I think makes this one of my most successful videos of all time. So if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, then make sure you are subscribed. Thanks for watching, I'm Damon Scotting, and this was Astronomical.